I'm so excited to finally be able to say that I'm going to a World Cup and I still don't quite believe it, I'm still pinching myself until I get onto that plane to New Zealand. It's been such a long time coming and especially since we were meant to play last year in 2021, postponed for a year, so it feels like we've had so much prep time, I just want to hurry up and start the, start the competition. I found out on um, a, uh, a WhatsApp uh, with, the, with the rest of the squad, they post the team, so we're all waiting there at 7 o'clock with our phone. I actually had a nap beforehand, just to try and not look at my phone as much as possible, just put it down. When it finally got to 7 o'clock, I think everybody in the squad was literally there like, oh god, oh god, oh god. I told my husband, um, he was actually off at, at rugby as well, I think he went out onto the pitch about kind of like 10 past seven. So he spent the whole of his training session running around going, oh, did she make it? Did Vicky make it? He's pleased to come out to New Zealand and support him as well. So I think he's just as excited as I am. We've been in camp for the last 13, 14 weeks now. We've had a whole kind of pre-season and I have never worked so hard in my entire life. I don't think I've ever been fitter, faster, stronger and more prepared to go into a World Cup. But the feeling has definitely been nervous excitement, even kind of with the warm-up games and we're all just ready to go now. It's been such a long prep time. I'm so excited to go. I've got my sights set on we are, we're going to go there and we're going to win it and I'm absolutely 100% behind the girls that, that we can do it. On the day, we need to put you know, the best game out on the field.